Hey guys, Johnny here, back with more Call of Duty Mobile. Today I want to share with you guys my top 5 favorite loadouts for the brand new Season 6 ranked multiplayer. We got some new weapons, some new balance changes in the game, and I want to share with you guys what I'll be using for the next round of qualifiers. And once again guys, the idea of the loadout is not just about the weapon. You guys can use the idea, but change the weapons with your favorite weapons and you should do good. So this is my main loadout number one I use in Team Deathmatch and I'm still using the RUS 79 you guys. I know we got the Pharaoh now, I know the MSMC got a little buff, but I still feel comfortable with the RUS because of the versatility. I mean the Pharaoh and MSMC are very very good at super close range, but the RUS got better range so more versatile gives you more option to pick up more fights. I really like that one in Team Deathmatch. Now even way before when the MSMC was super good, I was never using it because I'm not the type of guy that will go straight to the face or very very close range. So this is a better choice for me but what I say is now I like to rush a little bit more in Team Deathmatch. So I'm using more mobility and I love SMGs now. So RUS 79 you guys give it a try if you never tried this gun it's very good. So I'm using the quick draw the foregrip and the extended mag. Uh, some guys say you don't really need the foregrip on that one, so if you don't feel you need it, you can try the long barrel for extra range. I still use the SMRS in Team Deathmatch. I really like to take down the uh, enemies, UAVs, counter UAVs and stuff like that. Even if I'm using Ghost, I still feel it's a better use. It helps the team a little bit more. You can use the SMRS to kill enemies or certain situations. I don't do it much, but still you have it if you need it. Now for the perks, you will notice I still use Dead Silence in all my loadouts, guys. And now I use Ghost in Season 6. I started using it last season and I really like it. Some guys say it's not very useful. If you have a good team, you can take down the planes. They won't be there that long, but still for me, it's just a bit too much. Because as soon as they call the UAV, you have to worry about the plane like right away. But with Ghost, you can keep doing what you were doing and take down the UAV after. So it's situational, but I really love Ghost, guys. Now for perk number one, I used to play lightweight on that slot, but now I'm using Agile since last season. Uh, extra aim down sight is gonna help you win 1v1s. First guy to shoot is gonna be the one uh, winning the fight. Now, I don't use the trophy system in TDM because I'm always moving. And I feel trophy system is not helping me that much. So I'm using EMP for a try this season. Maybe a good counter to uh, the super popular RC. But uh, it's just a test, guys. I'm not saying to do it. Uh, some guys use cold blooded to counter the RC. Now I feel the meta will shift a little bit. Probably if everyone starts using cold blooded, the RC is not going to be that good. And maybe less people will start using it. We will see. And once again, frag grenade everywhere. Now operator skill, I no longer use the war machine, I'm using death machine. I think it's pretty good and uh, I heard war machine got nerfed a little bit. I didn't try it this season but anyways, that machine, pretty good choice. Uh, use whatever you like here. Now loadout number two is my domination loadout and I'm still using the transform shield. It's the only loadout I'll use a transform shield. I know it's very uh, unpopular but it's very useful in domination and domination only. Maybe some guys will use it. Uh, in hardpoint but i really love it in domination still it's so helpful when you're trying to capture and i'm an objective player when i play domination i'll go to capture b now the transform shield will really help you with that now i'm using the bk57 since last season also it's a freaking laser guys this thing is very very accurate uh very good range also not bad at all uh very good all-around weapon good for any map uh, using again quick draw, foregrip, and fast mag. You can change the foregrip again. Some guys say it's already accurate, so use whatever you like here, but I like foregrip still. I'm using a red dot sight on that one. I don't like the uh, original or uh, iron sights on that one. Again, SMRS. Domination is very good also. You can shoot the objectives. And now I use trophy system here because when you try to capture, you want to try to stay alive. It would be a good idea to use the flight jacket, but I went down and back with Agile on all my loadouts pretty much now. Uh, once again, Ghost and Dead Silence. Now my loadout number three is pretty much a copy and paste, but this one's for Hardpoint. So instead of the Transform Shield, I'm using the Hive. This is very good in Hardpoint. Same attachments, same weapon, same everything, guys. 
but I use Hive instead of the Transform Shield. Now that loadout is also versatile. You can use it in Team Deathmatch on some other maps if you feel more comfortable with that. Sometimes you want SMG, sometimes you want ARs, depending on the range and your play style. Once again, you can pretty much use any uh, weapon you like, but Hive in Hardpoint can make a huge difference. Now loadout number four is my good old search and destroy loadout. I've been using the same loadout for multiple seasons. I love the PDW with the suppressor. I use pistol because in search and destroy you won't have to take down uh, enemy score streaks because it pretty much never happens. Uh, so I use the pistol faster to switch uh, weapons when you need to. Uh, operator skill doesn't really matter because you won't use it. And I use smokes because uh, uh, it's more tactical and you can trick your enemies. You can use it to cross lanes without getting sniped. Uh, I, don't, I didn't feel the trophy system was needed here. And this is the only loadout I'm using hardwire because you don't want to die to trip mine, especially in search and destroy. It can be devastating. Once again, guys, dead silence. If you don't use it on your other loadouts, at least use it in search and destroy, guys, please. Dead silence and search is so, so important. Once again, agile. Now, my last loadout is the sniper loadout. You can use your favorite sniper here, guys. Again, I'm not telling you it's a DLQ loadout. It's a sniper loadout. So use your favorite sniper. I love the DLQ 33, guys. I know we got the brand new Outlaw. Uh, I know the Locust is very popular, the Arctic 50. And like, there's a lot of good snipers, but I still feel my favorite sniper is the DLQ 33. Again, I use a pistol here. I use that loadout mostly on search and destroy on defense. I don't snipe very often. Uh, I use trip mine here because I feel with the sniper, sometimes you're gonna stay at one point. So trip mine can be useful. Uh, and once again, I'm back to ghost, agile, and smoke grenade for situations. Uh, it's very situational. I start playing with the smoke a little bit more. But yeah, use whatever you like here, guys. So that's pretty much it. These are my five loadouts. And once again, it's not about the weapons. Use the loadouts, but switch the weapons with your favorite weapons. And it should do the trick, guys. The idea here is to be prepared for all the game modes, all the maps, all the situations. So with these loadouts, you got something for small maps and larger maps. You got something for domination. You got something for hard point. You got something for search and destroy. That's pretty much the idea for ranked multiplayer. A lot of guys say five loadouts is not enough. How I feel is the cool thing about having five loadouts is you have to make decisions and that's the whole point of having five loadouts. If you had 20 loadouts, there would be zero uh, decisions to make. You could just do a bunch of loadouts for every specific situation. I think it would take a little bit out of the fun, but anyways, personal opinion. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Leave me some comments below if you don't agree with some of these decisions. How would you uh, go and change some of these loadouts to make them better? I cannot wait to read you guys' comments. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, subscribe to the channel for daily Cut Mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.